thank you. Thank you, thank you. And welcome back. This is uh, epi- oh, episode 10. I, I don't know who to be more proud of, like us for making it to episode 10 or you guys for, for listening and sticking through. I want to say us, but, you know, I feel like we would be doing this anyway. So it's mostly you guys that I'm proud of. Uh, oh, okay. So just so you all remember last week, in case it's been a while, or last episode, because I guess they're not every week. Um, but last episode, so we pulled Lady Argenti up from the little dungeon she was in. But Vasilisa didn't take to her very well. Um, And then we found a magical sprite. Oh, honey, uh, all sprites are magical. I I don't... Yeah, I suppose that's redundant. Okay, so so we found a a sprite. And, uh, oh, he had a great voice. I thought. I thought he had a great voice. Like, he was played very well. Um, And the sprite, like, helped keep Vasilisa busy while I was able to take Lady A downstairs and calm her down a little bit. But then eventually they captured the sprite, and then they came down, and Vasilisa started getting her all worked up all over again. Oh, 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 good thing happened then, though. Oh, um, they found, like, a a, a big coat, and it was enchanted with Endure Elements, which is a really good spell if you can get it. Um, And they gave it to me. And so you remember when I kept failing all those cold checks, like, because the DC, like, kept getting higher and higher over the episodes, and I just kept failing and failing. Even I was using, like, I was using Charmed Life for my Swatchbuckler deed, and still kept failing anyway. Well, I don't need to do that anymore. I just straight don't need to roll that check. Oh, it's going to be so good to feel not like a burden. Anyway, so then we hear uh, a knock on the door. And, uh, you know, Margie and I have plenty of kids. And uh, sometimes you get ones that look like exactly the same. So, like, our girls Tia and Tamara used to look exactly like each other. Like, just like each other. And they, they'd, like, p- pull pranks on Roger sometimes. So, anyway, Lady A, she, like, opens the door. And, boom, there's another Lady A. So, I don't know, maybe we're the ones getting pranked? I don't know. But I'm, I'm proud of y'all for following us bravely on this journey so far, and so please enjoy this bonus-sized episode 10, Argentine for Two. I, I'm really glad that you were like, guys, guys. I named it. I know we've been having trouble naming stuff, and we haven't played this game yet, like this but. session, but <laughs> have I got a name for you? And we all were immediately like, yeah. Right, like, yeah, that, that Doris way. Day all the way. <laughs> yeah. So it has been a nice long while. Norm had a wonderful uh, recap there. A couple things uh, to remind people. Um, the Sprite got, got his ear cut off. Mm-hmm. By a by a playing card, and now he is swaddled. Look, it was accidental. I was just trying to blind the sprite. Okay, I I talk a big game. It was just talk. I threw card. It's little creature. Oh yeah, it's the like ear and the eye are accidentally right smushing a bug. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay I, you, but you hit it in the look, in the ear. How did you do that? Oh, I, the ear is right next to the eye. I just sliced it right off. My poor Haro card has blood on it. It is not. Great. I kind of okay. wish I had seen that. That sounds pretty but impressive. I stabilized it. It's not dying anymore. Oh, no, I've got it's it right okay. here. Yes. I'll swaddle that. Large up. is real good at the carrying of the little things. It's fine. Let's see. You guys <laughs> stabled up all of the, the horses and Miss Marigold. Found a guy with his head cut off laying in the snow. And uh, there was some soup. There's a frantic woman here. And you open the door and you see an identical woman who looks a little bit worse for wear, um, wearing slightly different clothes, kind of more rough and tumbled looking, very dirty, hairs up in like a a ponytail. And she is supporting a very nice looking gentleman uh, with shoulder length brown hair, has bits of matted blood in it. And he's leaning very heavily on her. He has a big burly beard and a mustache. I believe he also has his arm in a sling and a leg in a splint, you said? That is correct. Oh, shit. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Thank goodness you're okay. Oh, I, I was so worried when, when I didn't find you and they took me. And, uh, oh, oh, no. I'm no, so... wait. Oh, what, what's going on here? I, I, there's two of you? I, excuse me. What the fuck? <laughs> tell me. I'll tell you as soon as we get this poor gentleman in here, Okay. You, you know this guy? Well, yes, this, I mean, if anyone is who they look like they are, I can't <coughs> tell. Yosef, what can uh, you tell? Hey, Lisa. Oh, jeez. 
<laughs> oh, like, come in, come in. It's cold outside. Val- Valdine goes over and helps them uh, get inside. Cool, cool. Yeah. So you lead him in, and you guys are left staring at what look to be identical sisters. Yeah. Oh, gosh, I nailed it in my intro. <laughs> <laughs> some sort of family resemblance here is it, that we're dealing with? What, what, what is going on? I, I would like some answers, too. Oh, yeah. This woman needs to explain things. But yeah, Yosef, I'll, I'll, I'll explain myself tell right. Tell me something only I know. <laughs> I am sorry. I need to know whether I should heal this man. Do I? Is he the thing? I think he is. Yosef. Something. Something. So I can know it is you. Oh, do you guys have like a memory together that only you would know? Or probably. <laughs> I don't. Oh gosh. Oh. Okay. I don't now think I... he tells everyone Good everything luck, that we have done. <laughs> I'm sorry. That, that took me a second. I get it now. I think. Yeah, uh, Lisa. We um, when when you were first took over for uh, Theodora. Uh, every time I went over to Theodora to drop off her firewood, Azalea would, would bite me uh, and try to nip at me, but, but after uh, she passed on uh, and you kind of took over, Azalea's been a lot, a lot nicer to me. Yes, Azalea was real weird with you. This is true. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so it's him. And, and Vasilisa casts Cure Moderate Wounds on Yosef. Yeah, you hear his bones set into place. Oh, God. Jeez. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so musical. His, his wounds kind of heal up and everything. He has some scars. Um, but yeah, he looks a lot better. He looks almost full. <laughs> I, I, hello, me. I am the real Lady Argenti. Well, I wouldn't have seen that coming. No, you wouldn't. This here is my body double, uh, Belor Aladima. Why did she lie to us about who she is? It's because uh, we have a very strict contract together, and I need to play face all of the time unless the lady says otherwise. And so now I can finally... And she just goes up and she, like grabs her face. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And she just like... Oh, dear. And as soon as she like pulls it off, it just like... It's just meat underneath. Vanishes away and it's just like a really plain, simple white mask. Oh, wow. What does she look like? She's an 80-foot squid monster. <laughs> <laughs> it's a flaming... Flaming 80-foot squid. Wailing and flaming, apparently. Yeah, no, so so she she's a blonde instead of a, a nice red head. Her hair is straight. It's a lot shorter than it normally is. Huh. Uh, her facial features are quite a bit different. So Lady Argenti herself looks very, like, regal and noble, has, like, the, the stern jaw and everything and kind of like a sharp nose. Belor, uh, on the other hand, has a lot more rounded features and like a, a little cute button nose almost. And yeah. The cards were way more literal than usual. This is the two-faced courtesan stranger, everybody. Oh. Remember? From oh, yeah, re- that's right. Oh, my. They're what happened soft. to you? What were you doing out there? Uh, me and my caravan were on our way back to Opar from Zemer. Yeah, we saw. Oh, good. We saw the carriage. Good. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't a really good. No, well, that's hook. true. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> so we were in the middle of switching back, and uh, that's when we got attacked, and the carriage did a, a, a flip. Oh, yeah. I was thrown from it, and uh, Belor here does what Belor is paid to do, which is assume my identity for any sort of circumstance. Um, which was good because you could hear them saying, oh, get the lady, get the lady. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I booked it because I didn't look like no lady and they were killing everybody else. Oh. Uh, yeah. No, it was bad. No, it was smart plan. Yeah, it was Did... real bad. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I, I took off into the, the wood as best I could because that was where the nearest cover was. And while I was wandering around, I, I came across uh, uh, Joseph over there, and uh, we got uh, to talking, and he told me about the lodge, and I patched him up as best I could, and we started making our way here. Well, that was very nice of you. Well, uh, it's quite lucky for Joseph and the Argenti that we are here instead oh yeah, did, of... Yeah. Did you there were some not good guys here before. decapitate a necromancer, either of you? No. <laughs> No, that that wasn't me. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't us. Yes. Who who did it? I... 
Oh, Some, I, somebody worse, maybe. Oh, we should we should tell you, good. Uh, just so you know, Yul is uh, still alive. Oh, Yul's still alive. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, he's back in uh, He Hilton. didn't tell us about, oh, there are two ladies. Yeah, that would have been nice Did to he know not that ahead know? of time. Yeah, they, nobody else knows about that, actually. No, that's, that's smart, oh, that makes actually. sense. You, they, you know, you I, don't want I that getting out. I suppose, given the whole nature of the arrangement, that is fair. It's a little deceptive. Well, now it's... Um, it's well, that's I'm, the point. I'm sorry to tell you, but all the other people in your, uh, your caravan... Um, Turned to zombies. They were, I, I, I'm assuming, killed and then brought back. And what we had to, I'm kill, s- kill we had to oh. kill them again. I'm sorry. Gosh, I, no, we don't you, need it. You had to kill all of them. No, no, it's, they were no, zombies. No. They were already dead. The, uh, hey, the hey, Bellower, Bellower, remember, do your breathing, <laughs> and just remember that everything's going to be fine. You and I are alive, and you're getting a big fat bonus from this. So she was <laughs> like this before the mushrooms. What? She said she ate some mushrooms, maybe. So I thought maybe, oh, maybe. she just yeah. lit a yeah. little, uh, but uh, this is my, normal. My lady, they, they locked me in a cellar, and they thought I was you, and they were going to use me for ransom or a trading token or something, and I think I found mushrooms in there, but it was dark, and I peed in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pumpkin. I'm sorry. Yeah, she's not used to that kind of stuff. She's more of the, the prim and proper type, which is why we trade places pretty frequently. I suppose that makes sense. Yeah, I, I like to think so. Let's me live the lifestyle I actually want, and she gets to live the lifestyle she wants, and uh, no one's any the wiser except for you all. And don't tell anyone or I'll kill you. I'm mostly kidding. <laughs> I mean, I'd like mostly. to see you try. No, I don't but think But also, I uh, what happened to you, Yosef? So I had a, my woodcutting spot, a really nice one. There's some nice mahogany trees up there, and uh, the snow set in, and I was like, okay, this is fucking weird, but mm-hmm. hey, mahogany. Uh, set up my camp and everything. I was getting ready to head out, and then I got attacked by something real big and real scary that I ain't too familiar with. Was it white? Did it have, like, white fur, white coloration? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it did. Uh, it was, it was uh, as best I can describe it, that, but bigger, and he points over at Ghost. Oh, oh, okay. Well, this well, uh, Ghost I've raised from a baby, and she won't hurt you at all. Yeah, I, I gathered that from it, not immediately trying to rip my arms off. <laughs> she's kind of a sweetie poo when you get right down to it. Interesting. Well, she's got her backs in battle too, you know. Yes. Uh, it's yeah. It, it took a couple real good swipes at me. I fell down a ravine and. I was there for probably about a day before. Uh, oh dear! Yeah, before the lady came along, and I told her about the lodge, and she patched me up, and we started heading for it. She was pretty lost. Yeah, I, I, I was, uh, I was wandering around a lot. So, well, it, you two must be hungry. Oh, we're starving. Oh, here, uh, you should come back here to the kitchen. I've got some stew going. And we've all eaten some, so it's totally not poisoned. Oh, good. Yeah, a hot meal sounds. Sounds real good right now. Yeah, that sounds uh, really great. So where were you headed? You were just wandering directionlessly? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. When the adrenaline kicks in and you're running for your life, you don't really pay too much uh, attention to I, the I feel like you're lucky. That could have ended really badly. Oh, yeah. No, it's real hard to find your way in the woods when you can't really tell where the sun is with all the cloud cover and the yeah, dispersion. It's, and it's very oh, lucky listen. you didn't run into any trap snow nice. people or... You know, talking fake creatures that are pretending to be stags. So, it seems like you guys know a lot more than I do. I'd really appreciate being filled in. Well, uh, first, I suppose the introductions. Yes, Ooh, I am yes. Vasilisa Morozova. I am from Hildren, same as Yosef. Uh, I was sent to rescue you. Oh, you're Vasilisa. Have you heard of me? A little bit. And, Joseph. And, and Joseph, Joseph like, nudges her to stop. <laughs> I also nudge Joseph, so he's just getting <laughs> double nudged. <laughs> Nudges, nudge chain. <laughs> uh, I came into Heldron recently on uh, just some traveling, and it seemed like there was something going on that might earn me some coin, so uh, now I'm here. Well, I assure you, you guys are going to be handsomely rewarded for getting us back to town. Oh gosh, no! We just we just wanted to help. I oh mean, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm Norm. Oh, and I'm Marge. And, and this is Ghost. We're the Gundersons. Uh, so yeah, what's what's going on? Yes. We yeah, we found uh, mm-hmm. um, 
Oh, I forgot his name already. You found Yulm? Oh, yes. Yulm, right. Uh, and then uh, he was telling us about how winters come in the middle of summer and yeah. and that you were missing. And so we all decided to go together and start heading in. And we've, you know, snowmen and talking elk. and Yeah, it turns out Irisin is coming through a portal to take over Teldor somehow. So... Well, that would explain all the snow. Really, we have to stop that. But you don't have any idea why that's going on, do you? Because, I mean, finding you was the main thing, but also, like, finding out why this... I was hoping we'd find both. When we found you, we'd know what's going on. We really must find this portal and stop it. Irisin is not a pleasant place. It's winter all the time. Oh, and the giant worms and the... Never-ending winter. And and the the weird, weird huts with uh, tree trunk chicken feet. Excuse I'm sorry, me? what? What? Did you see such a thing? Yeah. <gasps> I figured you guys would want to know about that. I, I found it when I was wandering around. It's uh, real fucking weird. Well, yeah, it sounds like it. <laughs> oh, my. Huh. Everybody. Mm-hmm. It, it was well, like a weird open hut on a couple logs that looked like chicken feet. Oh. And there was a chair with a... a I don't know. There was something sitting on it. I didn't get too close because I started to hear whispers and I said, Guys, nope. This is bad. Baba what is Yaga. It? Remember what I said about Baba Yaga? Um, the greatest witch of the entire sure, universe. Sure, sure. Yes. Uh-huh. The mother was- of all witches. Yeah. That is her house. Okay. <gasps> she lives in what? that hut. So that's a pretty, Baba Yaga. That's so a sh- pretty shitty house. Why is oh she here? My- Goodness, just stop with the Baba Yaga may hear, she hear everything. Well, what did you hear? Moya Mama always said, Baba Yaga will hear you. What did and you hear while probably you were walking true. past the house? Yeah, Some, what were the whispers Something saying? about being lost and wanting a mom. It was, it was real what? weird. I thought I was just hallucinating. I haven't eaten in like three days. And she says this as she's like, she has a bowl of soup. She doesn't even like spoon it. She's just like. Tipping it up into her yeah. mouth. I so, do not like this. So why would she be here? She is supposed to replace Coral Yeva Elviana on the throne with a new queen. It is that year that I mean so but why would you be in Teldor? I don't know. Why is Irisin in Teldor? None of this makes sense. Well do you know I mean you seem to know a lot about this. Do you know how what what criteria she uses to choose her queen her new queen? Every time there is a new queen, the new queen has to be Yadviga. Oh, what? Yadviga. What's, oh, I'm sorry. A I... Yadviga is a descendant of Baba Yaga. Oh. Moya Mama is Yadviga. I guess technically I am kind so of also you. Yadviga, but I gave up the whole winter thing and the whole winter vich thing. I am more of a Sumer kind of soul, you know? So it's you guys too cold. you guys don't know each other very well, do you? It has been oh, we one found... night together. Right, you guys you guys found Yul. Yeah. I get that and part. And we brought him back to the town. We brought him back to the town. And we're yes. st- start, we started to heal him, help him out a little bit. Right, and then, right. And then she's from the town. Veldin yeah. volunteered, volunteered to be paid to help. Okay. And I am from Hildren, and they were like, oh, Vasilisa, uh, you know about Irisin. Why don't you go and do the helping? So this is what I did. You know, I was going to be really upset that you got sent, but that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I was really upset that yeah. I got sent, <laughs> I'm sorry. Too, to be fair. So. Oh, you seemed happy to do it at the time. No, I mean, I am, I am more angry that there is winter in summer in Teldor than I am anything else. So that's fair that you could not tell. I'm deeply on the You seem upset about the cold. Grumpier and grumpier the colder it gets. I am (coughs) not usually a grumpy person, right, Yosef? I am a cheerful person. (laughs) Am I? Am I, Yosef? (laughs) Am I a grumpy? No. Okay. Your sense sense motive. motive. (laughs) Thirteen. You can't, you can't tell. <laughs> but oh, I, but I know better. When, when you're, uh, you're what you need to be at the time. I, and <laughs> most of the time, that's happy and helpful. And Thank only you. when it's cold do you become not so happy. Baloya Verona, I get it. I am a little bit of a suka in the winter. So, um, uh, what do we do from here? We just go back to, to uh, 
Heldrin? I almost said Torch. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong well, game. Wrong game. Well, that's why I was hoping the real Lady Argenti would have like some kind of clue or, or advice mean, on like where this is all coming from. Do we yeah. go to Hildren? Do we try to find that portal that the oh, I think we need to take the lady back. There it is. Do we? Oh, I forgot I about mean, the sprite. You guys I mean, have it. He's so cute. Oh, yeah, he's in my arms. So I followed, once I found the hut, there was a, a trail and I followed it back. That's how I found Joseph. The trail leads all the way here. Oh, so we, we could... We could just go to Baba Yaga's hut. No big deal. I don't... Well, I'm uh, kind of worried about that. Me too. It does not sound like a great idea. I don't think we should be going anywhere at this point. We need no. rest first oh, yes. before Definitely. we do anything else. It's been a long day. Norm's going to like lean over to Joseph and be like, which one of them is saying your name correctly? I don't want to be rude. <laughs> is it is it I, I really is it or I really appreciate that. Um it's it's Joseph. Okay. But I'll depending on where you're from, you can call me Yosef. I'm not sure where you're from. Where do I have, to, do I have from. to be from to call you that? Um I mean the only person <laughs> I've ever met that's done it is Lisa. So you're I suppose? Okay, so that's well Well that's not us. No, we probably shouldn't. Let's uh oh, let's get some food in us and and, and sleep. Okay. Get uh, some rest. It's four PM. Can, Oh, but we're tired. Look, <laughs> it's been a very been long day. I'm just letting day. you guys know it's 4 very p.m. Long day. Yeah, we'll, they're the I, so two of the three of them are exhausted. I'm still very worried about whatever killed the necromancer outside. Can we bring Marigold into <gasps> oh, the house, yeah. maybe? Oh, we could set up one of the rooms as like a stall for her. Yes, please. I mean, she I'm okay, is. I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, it doesn't matter if I'll she go. Pulls. I'll go get her. Will you please? Of course. You you should stay in and have stew and Thank sit you. by the Marigold will be fire. very happy to see you. I'm oh, sure. I'm, I'm excited to see. Oh, I but, I should tell you. Oh no, but the the weasel got Oxford. <gasps> no. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, uh, we oh. I saw him when we we got pulled up. Uh, yeah, he's gone. Who's Oxford? O- Oxford was my ox. Aww. He was very sweet. He liked when I would tuck flowers into his harness. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. Uh, Mary, Marigold's going to miss him, too. They were uh, kind of best friends. They were so cute together. You have no idea. And Vasilisa just kind of dabs at her eyes with her skirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Not that kind of dab. <laughs> Um, yeah, so so Joseph, with that somber news, uh, goes back out into the cold. He's walking well. He undoes the, the splints and stuff. Like, he's still limping pretty hard, but that's just from the, the injuries. The bloody rags just fall off his body. Yeah, he's, yeah. Like, healed up now. I mean, like, the bones are set, and, like, he's going to, like, ache. And he has some, like, pretty bad scarring, like I said. Um, but, yeah, he, he goes on out, and you, you hear him undoing the latches, and you hear Marigold Bray very happily. Yeah. Ah, Joseph, it is good to see you. Tell me, how is Oxford? God damn it. <laughs> Where is he? He is always with you. I hope he is okay. <laughs> oh, we're going this way now. Excellent. So once y- Joseph comes back in with uh, with Marigold. I'm gonna scamper around. I want to like lock all the doors and windows and just kind of double check yeah. every single. St- if we're camping yeah. down for the night, I'm gonna double check everything. Yeah, that's sure smart. That's smart. You say his name so strangely. I mean, it sounds the same as when I say it, Yosef, right? Oh, he, well, he spelled it for me, so I feel like I have. Yes, I mean, it's just Yosef. I am saying the same thing you are to, saying. To be fair, he only said the first initial. <laughs> uh, you, he you, spelled the big, He spelled the first letter of his name for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm wondering. Um, while we're sleeping, what should we do with the, the sprite here? I, we got to keep him secure somehow. I bet there's something like a pitcher in the kitchen. Should we keep him wrapped we up? Just though? keep him wrapped up like a swaddled in the the little tiny bug baby. <laughs> we stick him in a bowl or a pitcher or something. We put something very heavy on it. So he just And we uh, hope he can breathe. No, this sounds like a bad plan the more <laughs> I talk. Look, I... 
Why are, why are we keeping this thing again? What, it's the, it's knows like our, exactly oh, it's where the knows, portal uh, it is. Knows where, yeah, the portal. It says yeah. it knows uh, where Erison came from. All the, oh, all the winter yes. weather. Oh, yes, Although okay. I I don't know if these people know. No, they know where the hut is, not where the portal is, right? Argenti, that's what you said. I know where the hut is. And like I said, you just follow the path down that way. and um, Well, shit. What? No, it's just, it's very troubling. So there's some yeah. kind of portal mm-hmm. somewhere here. Yes. Letting in the cold. Yes. And you know that because a sprite told you? This little guy here. Well, we know there right are now. many oh. creatures from Irisin. Getting here somehow. Getting here. And uh, we know a necromancer and his band of bandits was working for them. Something like that. And we know that the sprite said, Oh, I came through a portal and was suddenly here in it did not know where. So uh I I'm assuming everything coming from Irison is coming through that same portal, right? That makes sense? It it what does. It would be worse if there's more than one portal. <laughs> that would be real shit, no? Oh. Uh, that would not be good. Just portals everywhere. Ears and storms going. <laughs> everywhere is winter in the whole world. That's, Norm, that would not Norm happen. Norm up his, coat, his new coat just a little bit more. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, there's only one portal. That's, that's the probability is not. <laughs> What's Feldine up to? Now, now that he has all this information, now that the identity has been like revealed for each of them and everything sure. like uh, w- what's going on. Cause Norm went around and he started locking stuff up. Val Valdine is a, a quiet man, but he's up to something right. Right. Right now he's just kind of taking this all in and trying to figure out if they're going to press on forward with these new party members. Are we going to continue heading into danger or are we headed back to town to bring these people back to safety? And so he's trying to you know, weigh the option about mm-hmm. which direction we're going to go. Okay. But he doesn't say anything to anybody. <laughs> no, he, he's... Um, Inner he, turmoil. Inner yeah, turmoil. He's like, he's like trying to think about it and kind of weigh the option, see what the party's thinking. Um, it seems like this Baba Yaga thing was pretty upsetting to Vasilisa. So I think he's leaning towards going back to Heldra. And so Valdin becomes... He'd probably say something kind of like... Um, I think we probably should get these folks back to safety once we're rested up and ready to uh, travel again. I think the priority needs to be getting you back to town. Well, that's what we were sent here for, yeah. Well, but now we've got Joseph. <clears throat> sorry, now we've got Joseph. Thank you. I um, it's, I'm, I've heard you. I've heard you talked about more than before we met you. And no, I I, I completely under. Um, you, you've heard about me. Oh he yes, just, I, Lisa. Only like I sh- in pa- just a, just in passing. Look, um, <laughs> what I said to Ionia Deppen is not. It's not. It's private. You talk to Iona about me. I needed to leave a message in case I died in the forest. You were expecting to die? Look, Irison invades the woods. I go off into the strange storm where a caravan was killed. What am I supposed to think? Oh, I will definitely not die? Well, yeah, because you're with us. I'm not stupid. No, you never know we what's going to happen. We almost died like a handful of times. It's been close. I mean, Remember honestly, we would be dead if it wasn't for Vasilisa. Oh, that's true. true. So speaking and of danger, the zombies. do we plan to continue on into danger with these folks? Well, that's what, the question I'm asking. What I was going to say is doing? that now that, Yo- now that Joseph is, is feeling better, that maybe Joseph could, could take the ladies back to town. Oh, is that going to be safe, though? With, without us uh, I mean, keeping them you Lady know, protected? Argent, you got three horses in the stables out there. We could ride back pretty quick. It would be a lot easier if we had been on horses. Oh my goodness. Yes, I don't I, think anybody is going to recognize me I I think the way I am and as long as... Uh, both of the... I mean, I, I am sorry. Uh, fake Belor. Argenti. Belor. Belor. Okay. Sorry, Belor. If we send Belor and Argenti and Yosef back to Heldren on the horses... We can investigate further and try to solve this problem while knowing they are safe. 
As long as they follow our path back out and do not touch that snowman or the strange dead crow effigy things. Oh, yeah, don't... Or talk to any stags or, you know, any of that, just... Oh, that makes me nervous. Yes, I. Th- it makes me so as nervous. As I said it, I started to feel a wee bit of. I don't think that was myself. a stag. Because yeah. there's the river they got across. What, what was it? Well, no, well, I think it was, it was a stag. No, but I think Fofin is, is not a stag. Not a stag. That's what I thought. Yes, I, I think. Right. I think we would be okay what? going back. Yeah, if I they can ride. Well, because they'll, they'll go four well times as fast as we would, like so fast. True. True. Okay. Yes, you ride horses. Escape back to Heldren safely tomorrow. And we continue to try not to die and We're find out go what is happening. We're going to fight the Baba, Baba Yagi, right? Is that what you said? No, we are not going to try to fight Baba Yaga. Oh. The idea is suicide. No, uh, we try to close a portal to my home country. Eh? No? Maybe. I, I just realized that... <sighs> Fuck. We might be getting invaded. Like, actually invaded, like, you know, Taldor. Oh. Oh, yes, yeah, so probably you yeah, should I go back to, to Opara yeah, and need to say, go back. hey, army of Opara, uh, Irisin is trying to attack you. How, how, how far is it to town from here? Well, uh, it depends on how big the winter is now. But on horseback should be like what a half a day, Look, maybe one day. The horses yeah. will be riding more slow. The snow is getting deeper and um, deeper. From horseback, from here. Yeah. I uh, I mean, if we take the trail, I mean that's gonna cut the time down. So normally walking from here, ah, uh, and the snow. I mean, we could probably do it in. Three hours? Yeah, oh, should, yeah it shouldn't okay. take long. Okay, yeah, we that's, be fine to get that's to fine. Well, then, uh, then it might be good, uh, if we think we're being invaded, then it might be good to like go as soon as possible. You know, mm-hmm. at this point, we are healthy. I mean, we're pretty tired, but if it's only three hours, we only, can ride it. Overnight, it might snow more. The track will get tougher. Sure, sure. I, I, yeah, and if, and if you need any up. more healing, I can I can do that with my wand to make yeah. sure you're, you know. That oh, she's be, getting really good with the wand. You should see. That would see. be great. Are there any, like, blankets or anything around here? Oh, for sure. I've oh, got, I've got yes. Uh, give him your coat, ac- Norm. Actually, <laughs> it just cinches the there's a, a big bear rug right here you can wrap around yourself. There's probably maybe on one of those corpses that got turned in to skeletons when their skin went and the skeleton came out they may have a cloak or something that came that didn't, off they didn't get ripped it would probably or destroyed. be really bloody but you know if it didn't explode then there could this is not sounding like a good plan. The more I, 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 I don't speak think there was anything salvageable. I mean, there's there's second hand, and then there's this, which is like something different. Well, there's beds here in in you know <laughs> oh, there's yes. like several different bedrooms. There's I think there was a blanket on a couple of the beds for sure. Yeah, just yeah, take whatever you things. need. All right, yeah, let's uh Bun- <sighs> bundle the horses up, bundle the people up. Balor, you eat some stew, and uh, I'll gather up some blankets. Joseph, just take it easy for a couple minutes. I, you'll not speak. To to anything that's like, oh, I'm going to try to speak to you in your mind or anything. Just don't engage. No, no, we're not. We're going to make a beeline okay. straight for town. No stops. Because there yeah. is something that is cutting people's heads off. So that's good. Yeah, and watch out. There's, no. If you see a snowman, just walk, give it a wide berth. Yeah, it oh, will like, explode yeah. or something. Okay. And good then you know. uh, if you see like a frozen river, just kind of like watch out for like weak spots in the ice, who, which who knows, it might be frozen even harder now and might be safer, Perf. but just yeah. be careful on the frozen river. Yeah, we will. Um, mm-hmm. uh, I'm going to go saddle up the horses. Okay. I'll gather some supplies for you guys. Thank you, Mr. Valdeen. I'll take off my cold weather gear. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, back to the Sprite here. Uh, um. We're going to need to secure him somehow. I, I don't know if maybe I should stick him in my backpack all wrapped up. Well, he's oh, what about only a leash? two inches tall, so it can't be that hard. Like a you tiny know? little leash. Just oh, a jar. We could poke holes in the top of a jar. Yes. I like that. We can put okay. them in a jar. Okay. I'll, I'll okay. go search the kitchen. Because the problem, he was able to break th- or try to break through the window, but he had momentum. If he didn't have momentum, he couldn't break through the glass. Yeah, if we put them in a little Small. jar. Yeah. It well, it could be like our own little compass. Like he could, okay. he could direct the way from the jar. It'd be like a compass for us. Yes. Okay. You find a jar. Woohoo! 
I poke holes with my rapier. Beautiful. <laughs> and he's still roll, unconscious. Roll, uh, Piercing damage. Roll a craft uh, small cage check. Okay. <laughs> well, not with that die, though. That's no, you're good. Bad. You're good. Um, <laughs> Please let me roll. <laughs> I want to roll something. I just want to play. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, so uh, Belor also goes into the kitchen and like starts to scoop some food into jars and stuff um, to, to take with them on their rather short journey, but something warm is always good. Um, and so Norm's in the kitchen poking holes. Marge is with him. Marge is with him. I'm going to tell Belor that I, that I don't judge her for her choice of occupation, and I don't blame her for tricking us. I totally understand why she did what she did. Oh, and she didn't even lie or anything. All I did was like, oh, look, here's Lady Argenti, and she just went with it. But even if she did lie or she was willing that's, to lie, that's her job, I'm, and I, I admire is, that. It is my job, and I'm I'm sorry I did have to lie to you guys. No, no, don't feel bad about it. We, I, I respect it. But Belor, that's good. Uh, how exactly does that mask work? Oh, well, uh, well, Lady Argenti had it made special after we had worked out our arrangement and it was working and uh, she wanted me to go to more higher functions and I needed a bit more of a disguise. Um, so she had it made. It's uh, made specifically... Oh, hold on, let me pull up the magic item. <laughs> So it sounds like you were doing this job before without the mask, and then you got the mask later, huh? Well, I'm not sure how that would work. They don't look anything alike. Well, no, but like in a smaller capacity, like from a distance. Probably like, like well, uh, it's, it's disguise actually, it's gift kind of. A little, a, it's, it's, it's a little bit like that. Uh, it's it's uh, a spell, mostly, but it's tuned specifically for the lady. Uh, so it only works to make one appear as her. Um... Yeah, but it's it's pretty great. It's great. Uh, you stick it on your face, and then it uh, yeah, it hides you pretty well. Well, so do you think you're going to keep doing this job, or is this about the retirement for you? Oh no, this job is amazing. Mm-hmm. Okay, because you, you seem should... you seem upset. I you know, <laughs> it's a hard job. I've had a rough couple days. Fair, very fair. But yeah. I also get to eat the best food and go to the best balls and meet really cute boys. It's it's a really good gig. It sure beats working in that shitty, shitty bar. And I will never understand what she sees in that place. But it works out for us. I, I, well, I, she doesn't get kidnapped from the bar, does, right? Does Argenti work in the bar? Well, I think maybe she just visits a bar. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> No, no, I, I, I think Belor worked in the bar, and no, Argenti saw her there. I think they switched places. I think maybe Argenti. No, Argenti works she in the bar. Argenti still looks no, like Argenti. Oh, she doesn't work in the bar. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I mean, obviously we're. Yes, on she works in the bar. I'm sorry. I'm just so used to lying to people. Look, obviously we are on the inside because we know about the mask. So That's it's true. Okay. Yeah. you can you can let some things Consider slip and not Consider us as the inner circle. We yeah, have she, we have code she, word clearance. Yeah, so so she took my place at the bar, and then I took her place as like a noble, and it's great. And she does bar stuff, and I get to take hot baths. Oh, do you ever get to like do decisions, like make like princess decisions, like policies and stuff? No, not really. I, I'm not a. I'm not a. Well, Chi isn't a princess. Uh, she's just like. I mean, <laughs> you also are not the princess. If uh, this, tr- it's true. I mean, correct me <laughs> if I am wrong, but no, I, I mainly get to like court suitors and. Uh, well, that's fun. It, it, it you is. don't get to be like, oh, off with their head or anything like that. No. That, okay. God no. I like to think no one in Teldor is saying, oh, off with your head with regularity. Yeah, the, yeah. I would like get flashbacks, princess, you like know, that. like, whoo, where am I? Irisen or Teldor? <laughs> ah. Ah, Irisen. What? Mm. You don't miss it, do you? What? You no. Don't. Okay. Cuds. Have you that, seen what it looks like outside? It sounded, but your your you, sigh sounded like uh, almost wistful. Like, no, I look outside. Okay, that's oh, Irisen all the time. <clears throat> Marge is going to peek her head out the door and just kind of check on Lady Argenti setting up horses. Make yeah, sure she she's, has two of them saddled and ready doing to go. Good. Yeah. Okay, no danger. Do you, do you lock the door? <laughs> 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 You're done. So. Um, you're going to keep going then? I d- 
do not see that I have any other real choice. I mean... So I we're didn't not gonna leave rest before we go. Oh, goodness. We are going to rest. I okay. am going to sleep very hard. But should we leave, like, kind of early? Like, we don't want to sleep too long and spend too much time? Because I really feel like the weather is going to just keep getting worse. Well, yeah, it's just a little True. after four. So if we go to sleep and get our, you know, our, our eight hours to stay healthy. Yeah. Then uh, it'll be early in the morning. Like, really early. Yeah, like yeah. It'll yeah. still be dark. Midnight. I mean, yes. I say we go as soon as possible, but also sleep. So they, And I need to prepare my spells so I can read that necromancer spell book and that scroll we found so I can see if maybe I can burn some spells and teach my cards so that I can be more prepared. So. All right, well... Um... Oh, can we tell ghost stories too? Should... Uh, well, I mean, Ghost is really cute and all that, I but his life's not been very long yet. Uh-uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is, she's, she's seen mean, some is, shit. Is there? Uh, so you you said you gave uh, Tep into a, a note for me. Is there anything not in the I'd note? I'd say I you mean, just go ahead and not read that note. It's a bit embarrassing, and I will go ahead and uh, we can say some things to each other in person then all these people are not staring at us. <laughs> How about we go check on Marigold in that other room with Marigold in it? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, well, uh, that's a good idea. Yeah, right. Let's... All of you are very uh, safe and definitely will respect our privacy. Oh, sure, of course, of course. Yeah. I mean, we're good people and all, Vasilisa right? Vasilisa doesn't yeah. exactly evil eye you, but it's pretty <laughs> close. <laughs> Whoa. To her saves or her AC? What no, you... no, it's not quite the hex level of witch glare, <laughs> but it's a very serious look. <laughs> okay. It's okay, because I know at some point before we go to sleep, I want to go upstairs and look at that map, so maybe this will be a good opportunity. Well, there you go. Yeah, yeah I'll keep an eye on things, things down here and just watch the perimeter. You guys go. So, so what are your what are your guys' names? Like, let me let me. So you're Valdeen and you're Marge yep. and you're Norm. No, I'm I'm Norm. You're Norm. You're Marge. She's Marge. Yes. Um, and this is Ghost. Hi, Ghost. Okay, so you guys need to tell me a little bit more about yourselves, so that when we get back, we can talk to you know the the guards and everything, and we can get you know some dossiers worked up for you guys. And I mean, you're probably going to get a medal for this, which is really cool. If you're um, talking about Opara. Is that what you mean, going back to Yeah, that? yeah. You we'll can't power. mention my name, then. But you're important. No, you no, You saved me. You protected me against that evil Just little... trust me, mate. You don't want to mention my name at Opara. Okay. Just leave, yeah, and just we leave me off the list. And we don't really need... I mean, you can say our names, but... Um, oh, we don't need anything. We don't we're, need, like, awards or anything. We're, we're retired, and we're just going on an adventure. We just heard you were missing and thought that was really sad. You're doing this for fun? Well, no, it's not... I mean, it's not fun, Well, but... we are getting paid. You can, you can pay me without my name. That'll work fine. I mean... Okay. Uh, we'll just put it all under the Gundersons and... Uh, Vasilisa, then, and then we can just, uh, yeah. Yeah, we can, yeah, I can make that work. Okay, yeah, well, and we'll just, you know, split it up with you that'd once, be, once we get great. it all. Right. So, yeah, you can have, so, you can uh, have my uh, shirt. What other uh, information do you need from us? Oh, just maybe your names. Oh, okay. Um, and your, your. Red folk, yes. Rats, okay, <laughs> good. I uh, got that. Right? Uh, is We're that also the, folks. Uh, folk. Okay. I mean, the, the folk part, I feel like that's the important part. All right. Uh, are, are, you guys, are you guys planning on being up in Opara anytime soon? They like well, to... I don't, I don't know. Ceremonies I mean, and... We have no plans. <laughs> We're retired on an adventure, so wherever we go, we go. All right. Well, hopefully when all this is cleared up, you could come up to Opara and it'll be wonderful. I can show you guys around the, the estate. Oh, that'd be great. Oh, we can go riding. <sighs> Massage. Have you guys ever had a massage? It's uh, wonderful. <laughs> Meanwhile! <laughs> <laughs> ah, my two favorite people. Aww. Back together. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm not allowed to read the note? I suppose you can, but it's a lot of... Oh, I am probably going to die. I hope you are not dead. It was written in a little bit of a hurry. It's not my best work. 
let us just say. Don't, like, uh, judge too harshly. I okay. don't think I could judge you. <laughs> I mean, ah, uh, you. Vasilisa just kind of, like, thwacks his arm lightly. It's the arm she just barely healed. Yeah. <laughs> and he, like, flinches a little bit. Like, he's still used to it being really Oh, tender. I healed you real good. It's fine. Yeah, you, you did. I mean, I'm going to definitely have some... I'm pretty sure I give you almost as many hit points as I have total, so <laughs> I hope you're okay. It's a really weird way to phrase that. Um, yeah, I, I feel well, pretty it's good. Bitch it's bitch jargon. I am sorry. It's a bit <laughs> stiff, but I'm sure it'll loosen up in the next couple days. Um, you're going to be careful, right? I mean... And you're not going to die, right? Probably not. I I so far have been pretty okay. That zombie that slashed me, that was not good. But uh, you, the Gundersons go in front most of the time. Little March has her shield. It's like, well, she's good at being in front. So I just let her do that. And Valdine's really good at being like, oh, Vasilisa, stay close so that we, you know, do not get separated and you don't get slashed by zombies again. So... I feel like I am learning how to fall in the, be in the back. Good, yes. good. That's so a, that's yeah, good. Um, yeah, good. Be careful. Don't die. What? And, uh, yeah. And then he leans in and kisses you on the cheek. Ah. Yes, get it. <laughs> Marigold's tail is just swishing. I really do not like this. Oh, uh, sorry. Too, no, no, too that forward, was I... good. And, and Vasilisa, like, get, smooches him on the cheek. Yay! <laughs> that is fine. It is the whole, oh, no, Irisin is here. Winter is here. I don't know what is going to happen. That stuff. So. Right. I do not like that. Yeah, that's not good at all. Um, well, I, I mean, I should probably get going. Um, yeah. And you should sleep so you don't die tomorrow. Um, uh, and he, he opens the, the door and, and walks out. Um, wh what's everybody else up to? Are you guys just still standing there chatting? We were all no, listening I at the door. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> were you guys? He opens no, the door and we're like, no. Ah. <laughs> no, that would be so rude. I would never do that. No, I wanted to go upstairs and look at that map. Yes, and the Norman Marjorie, uh, and she's still she's carrying around the jar with the sprite in it because she Perfect. doesn't want it to leave her sight. And they're looking at the map. Um, yeah, you guys head upstairs. Uh, there is a large map hanging in the upstairs room. So I'm just going to right off the bat roll a knowledge geography just to see where I'm, how familiar I am with it and where I'm coming from. Yeah, that's smart. That, okay? that is only going to be, Jesus, a 10. Ugh. But if it's got words, I could read the words. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, it's very obviously a map of the area. There's a lot of different locations on it, kind of circled with question marks. Um, and there's there is some writing on there, being like, you know, base question mark. What's here? Question mark. What's the what's the scale? Like, how much land does it look like? It's not the whole country, obviously. It's no, just like it's, a it's regional the forest. Oh, it's just the forest. It's it's this regional forest. Oh gosh. Yeah. Mm. And it's Great. got notes on it. I want, I'm going to take it down. Cool. I feel like we should bring it with us. It's really big, but yeah, you take it down. Uh, so yeah, I'll bring the whole thing downstairs and show Valdine. And when she gets back, I'll show Vasilisa too. But like, maybe I should think we should take this with us. Yeah, that's a good idea. Or at least memorize it. Does anybody have like memorization abilities? This little <laughs> box over here says B-Y. What do you no, let, let me take a look at it. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty familiar with the woods out here. Uh, let's see here. So we are about here. Um, and from what uh, Lady Argenti was telling me, our camp, my camp, that's going to be about four miles to the west. And from what she was telling me, that's tree thing, cabin, whatever you want to call it, was... Oh, the chicken feet. Yeah, the, the chicken chicken foot cabin. That's actually a good name for it. Chicken foot farms. Yeah, like it sounds very friendly, kind of welcoming. It's Not doesn't be, take itself too seriously. Yeah, so the, the chicken foot cabin is going to be probably another three miles that way. Uh, just going straight west, honestly. I'd stick to the ridge line. 
on this side and you should be able to to follow okay. that at least up to my camp um and then just keep going that way there's a, an old beat trail that might take you to where you want to go now where he's saying that camp chickenfoot is uh, are there oh, any you mean the cock house <laughs> yes where he's saying that is are there any notations are there any question marks or notes on the map the point where he's G- yes okay yes, what does it is. say there i uh, it's just like what the fuck Okay. Question mark of what is this? What the fuck? Um, And then he also is going to plot on the map where his camp is. Boop. Balor, are you ready? Yes. Yeah, I'm ready. Um, I have soup for us to hold because it's warm. Nice. (laughs) And we're going to ride very quickly through some very cold weather for three hours. And I'm... Actually, pretty excited to get some fresh air. Honestly, I've been—I don't need to tell you what I've been smelling. Um, <laughs> Probably s- her own piss, you know. Yes. 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 Oh no, she said That's she, she didn't like. need to tell us. Yes, thank you. I, oh. I, I, thank you for. <laughs> I think she was trying to avoid that. Well, I'm sorry. Jeez. No, don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, right then, and she just like very embarrassed. Like turns and walks out the door. Oh, don't forget your blanket. Oh, yes, thank you. I'll be right there. Okay, don't die. Don't kill her. Oh no, <laughs> protect her. You got it. Oh, and I'll protect too for sure. N- nice to meet you, Mrs. Oh, nice to meet you too. Yeah. You uh, seem like a very nice young man. I won't kill man. you. Thank you. I promise I won't kill you. Yes, and you probably won't be indirectly responsible for the death of me either. Not listening. <laughs> Uh, and, and Joseph uh, waves kind of goodbye. Oh, travel safe. We will. We will. Um, and uh, Lady Argenti and sticks fast. her head back in. She goes, all right. Be safe, y'all. And oh, you too. Take yeah, care of I will. Um, we'll Stay warm and just get out of the cold as fast as possible. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay, sleep well, lock doors. Safe Be travels. safe. Uh, so. Have a good night. All right. Good night. <sighs> <laughs> oh, Normie's so tired. I, I no. do not He's know about all, all of you, but I was definitely planning on dying until everyone told me not to. So. <laughs> <laughs> good thing. It's a good thing they told us. Uh, also, it, it's just kind of a GM note. Oh. Yes. Don't die. Don't oh, die. Oh, oh shit. Okay. <laughs> That's more that scary, <laughs> actually. <laughs> now, so. uh, time for us to get some rest. Should yes. we all uh, go ahead and since we got locked doors and locked windows and stuff all around us and we're actually in a building, um, all of us sleep at once, so it's just the eight hours? I'll, yeah. I'll probably get up and take a watch here and there just based on how things are going. Yeah, I, sure I we're, would we're okay. be nervous. Anyways. What's the order of the watch? Bat- 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 first. And then we'll, do we have to, just doesn't matter, it doesn't matter which one of us goes first. So go Valdine first, Marge and or Norm. Marge then Norm or Norm then Marge uh, and then Vasilisa. Cool. Uh, give me some perceptiones. Oh god, something's per- actually gonna happen. Oh, do, do, do. Yes. Valdine got a twenty. Twenty. Fourteen. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Thirteen. Cool. You all start to um, bed down. I think Marge, you have a harder time falling asleep uh, than everybody else because as the sun starts to go down, the winds pick up. Uh. And the windows kind of rattle a little bit. And you hear the howling wind. It, it's kind of a, a hard time for you to fall asleep okay. in particular. Uh, just because you're... There's so much noise. There's a lot of noise. You're very aware of all the little sounds going on. That was exactly like camping during Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. I had a hard time sleeping because it was raining and the wind. And we were in a yeah. tent and it was just yeah. so loud. <laughs> uh, Valdine, your, your shift goes pretty smoothly. I mean, it's a lot of the same noises and stuff. Um, I like to think that Valdine is kind of accustomed to that, though. Oh, yeah. Like, you, what did you get for your perception? You 20. 20, yeah. So you're, you're hearing all these sounds, but I don't think any of it shakes you or finds you as uh, off at all. Um, so I do it, a little it's quiet. Patrolling you, around. Um, just walking around the house, or do you actually go outside to patrol? I probably do a lap around the house at least once from the outside. Okay. And walk, then kind of walk the perimeter. Okay. What do you have for a light source? I take a stick from the fire cool. and I kind of like light the end of it. Cool. 
makeshift torch it. Sure. Cool. It's too bad the sprite doesn't glow like a like a lightning bug. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I just carry the walk around with the torch. Um, okay, so since you since you go outside while you're outside, kind of doing a lap, you hear once you're out there, you hear a really big kind of whistle sound, uh, and it's like it's definitely constant. So it's definitely something that the wind is doing. And it's coming from the west. Okay. I make a note of that and go back cool. inside. Cool. <laughs> um, next up is Marge and or Norm. Um, go ahead, Norm. Oh, I, yeah. I'm having a hard time falling asleep. What I so I'm four- probably... 14? Yeah. Yeah, 14, I think. Um, so, yeah, I mean, your guys' shifts go pretty easy. What do you do when the other one is asleep? Oh, I mean... I've never seen you guys function independently. <laughs> I'm not going too far. Like, I'm, I'm kind of still staying near her. Sometimes I just look over and just watch her sleep for a minute. And I'm just like, just like watch her snore. And be like, oh, her little, her little mannerisms. Like, she's still she's got her personality even while she's unconscious. And then Marge, what do you do? Oh, when Marge is up, uh, uh, Ghost will be up too. So she's, um, I think that she will, you know, walk around the house with Ghost and, and looking out the windows and, and trying to, you know, see if she can see anything. And she'll just be... Having a conversation with Ghost, but obviously Ghost doesn't answer, so she's just talking. You know, oh, Ghost, you know, oh, can you believe we're out here? This is so strange. I mean, you've never been in the snow before. And she just, you know, talk, 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 talk. Yeah. Just quietly. Yeah. Not, as not to wake anybody up. And just kind of walking around the house. You know, okay. Ghost. Cool, cool. She doesn't get more worked up and worked up as she keeps talking. And another thing eventually <laughs> is just like shouting. No. <laughs> uh, awesome. And then finally, Lisa. All right. Well... First thing she, I mean, Lisa just kind of, she's going to listen really closely. She'll do a check of the house on the base floor, make sure everything seems okay and is still locked tight. And then she's going to settle herself kind of centrally so she can hear as much as possible in the house. And she's going to commune with her cards to get her spells for the day. And she's going to make sure that she asks her deck to remind her how to read some magic stuff. And then she's going to try and start looking through and identifying that scroll we found and the spell book that was on Rokar's headless body. Productive watch. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's being a busy witch. Oh, and Vasilisa is going to remember that she technically packed with her an Ayun torch, which is a cool magical mm-hmm. stone that floats around your head awesome. and lights up like a torch when nice. you ask it to. So she's going to go ahead and, and just kind of gently let that go near her head and it'll start spinning around. So if she needs emergency light, she can totally light that up. Uh, yeah, so you sit down and you start to look at these things that you got off of his body um, now that you can officially read magic. The scroll is a scroll of animate dead. Ooh. Ooh. Up to 10 hit die. Ooh. And then you open the spell book. The way you said that, I was waiting, waiting to just immediately die. It contains the spells... Alarm, chill touch, expeditious retreat, feather fall, identify, locate object, and ray of enfeeblement. And that's it. Fuck. That's not a necromantic spell book. And you guys are all sleeping. It's not a particularly good spell book either. Like it it only goes up to level one spells, y'all. It's right crap. I... I do not think Rokar was a necromancer. What's that? I do not think Rokar was a necromancer. Oh, why are you saying that? He was raised dead, yeah? He had a single scroll of animated dead on him, but uh, his spell book here, it only has six spells, and none of them are necromancy spells. So... You There's know? more going on than what we know. Yes, something else yeah. is happening here. Could there be some sort of crazy, evil, necromantic, fake creature? Say that is oh. kind of you know how we keep 
thinking oh we have met something that is one thing and then it's another thing yeah. it's like oh look we have met a white stag that speaks in our head oh actually that was probably some sort of stupid sprite thing you know puffin right and then we meet Belor, and it's like oh this is definitely lady argenti and then it's like oh she took her face off she's actually not that and it turns out that all the snow falling from the sky is actually just little... Dandruff. Pieces. Giant dandruff. Giant dandruff, yeah. <laughs> turns out that this entire continent is just a big-ass giant's head, and oh, he's, no. he's going through some stuff. <laughs> and then we get Ghost ready to go outside, and we get Marigold ready to go outside. Yep. Everybody put on your warm weather Blankets clothes and, and, and armor. Darling, put on your... yeah. Uh, your, your, your new uh, cloak, oh, yeah. coat, it's, jacket, whatever. I really like it. It's yeah. very cute. You put the cloak back on? Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. yeah. In fact, it's... part of part of what I did on my watch was, I know I was watching Margie sleep for a while, but also part of what I did on my watch was uh, go to a mirror and just kind of practice, like, putting it on and taking it off, turning myself into... Roll perception. Ooh. 17. Se- <coughs> 17. Sati. <laughs> Sati. 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 Okay. What is it? Seven, 17. Great. Uh, you you hear something fall out of the cloak <gasps> and tink on the ground. But what does it look like? <laughs> I look at the tink. I look at where the sound came from. <laughs> I look at the tink. I look right at the tink. <laughs> <laughs> A small black shard, it looks like. And you ooh, pick it up. Ooh. And you start thumbing it and everything. And... The best I can describe it My little rat is thumb. a black mask, almost. It's about an inch tall by like three quarters of an inch wide. And it's a black mask, just completely flat and smooth, with uh, the left eye where it should be is a white star. Oh, wow. Wow. Like from it's Kiss. Like, it's like an emblem. <laughs> um, um, well, I, I know, it seems like it's probably something mystical or magical, and I don't know anything about that, so I'd have to ask the party. Or something musical. You, you know somebody, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, is this thing magical? So I found this last night while I was on my watch. It just kind of like, it was in the, in the coat, and it just kind of like popped out, but it looks weird, and I don't know what it's for, and it's tiny. What kind of... No, I mean, first I will try to do spellcraft. Yeah, is there any kind of no, no magic? I would like to do a knowledge check. Looks like some kind of kind of knowledge religion. Oh, good, that's one I actually have. Okay, here we go. Knowledge religion. Oh, um, I tried 15. (laughs) That was the DC I said. Oh, I exactly know what this is. This is this is a holy symbol. Specifically, it is the holy symbol of Norgaber. What? Uh, Norgaber is the god of greed, secrets, poison, murder. Uh, his worshippers are commonly thieves, assassins, murderers, and spies. That makes sense. And he is an uh, evil deity. Um, Norm, you may want to... Neutral evil. You may want to put that down. (laughs) Oh, oh yeah. It's... It doesn't look like my kind of thing. It's an evil holy symbol. Ew. Have you ever heard of the god Norgober? Oh gosh, no. That sounded like you just kind of... Norgober. Choked a little bit. Yes, it's not pleasant to say. If you say it, just practice it coming out of your mouth. Norgober. (laughs) Norgober. I don't know if I can say that. Anyway, he is the god of murder. Oh. So, not a great guy. Well, we should just leave it on uh, the table. Assassins, you know? I mean, I don't like evil stuff at all, but I think, what if maybe we should take it with us just in case? What if we encounter someone and we have to, like, trick them and be like, oh, we like the burger god, too. <laughs> and we could, like, show them it and t- pretend. If, it, if, the, it, if, it, if it's that helpful. Is where, if you want to put it back into the pocket of your yeti cloak, that is fine. I, yeah. 
it's just you just said- keep in mind if someone finds you and is like, oh, who is this rat folk I've never met? They'll be like, oh, look, he has a blow darts with poison and also a rapier and also a symbol of Norgibar. Maybe oh, he is That's- an assassin rat. Oh, my. I didn't even realize it. Yeah, that looks real fucking bad for you. <laughs> no, but, you know, my poisons, though, they're not like the, the kill you kind. They're just kind of like the... Is yes, the layman going to know that? No. Could, I mean... Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. It looks bad, is so what I I'm gonna wrap. Say. I'm going to wrap it in a little piece of paper that says, not actually mine. <laughs> and then if we do encounter someone who's like an evil burger worshiper, You'll then we can... You'll just take the paper off. Take the paper off. Oh, yeah. Yes, like, okay. And or, then, or if you want, I can stick it in my... my by backpack, you don't have to hang on to it unless you want to. You're okay with being mistaken for an evil no worshiper? No one's going to mistake me for anything other than what I am. <laughs> I mean... So okay. whoever had this cloak before me was probably evil, is what you're yes, saying. Yes, whoever's head was okay. cut off probably worshipped Norgerber. Now you've given this cloak a new they ought, mind, Or maybe... Maybe it is like what is happening with you now, and that person whose head was cut <laughs> off killed someone else who was an assassin who worshipped Norgaber and was like, oh, maybe I should keep this symbol just in case I run into someone else who worships <laughs> Norgaber and I need to pretend I worship Norgaber. Little know? do we know, this is actually the Santa Claus Norgaber <laughs> edition. <laughs> You've donned the cloak. You're now I am, assassin. I'm, <laughs> he's the Yeti Claus now. He's the Yeti Claus, yeah. <laughs> The Yeti Claws. I love it. Yes. Uh, is that Sprite awake? Do you still have Marge? Oh, yeah. I, I, uh, right behind me here. Oh, and yeah, she grabs the her. jar and, and... Has he woken up? Uh, he's still knocked out. Oh, he's still... It looks like he's still sleeping. Uh, do we want to wake him up or should we just leave him for I now? I mean, let's... Uh, if he's not awake yet, I'm a little worried. I... Let, I just a minute, and Vasilisa taps on the glass like an irritating tink, child tink. in an aquarium. Just like tink, tink, taps. Taps on it a little harder. <laughs> Picks it up and slams it on the table. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, wait, I, I don't think that's good. Oh, well, he, let me just let me just put him on the back. Do of you ghost. think he's he still hurt too much to wake up? I suppose it's You could do a heel check. Ooh. I could do a heel check. I can do a heel check. I can do we can I, all I do can. a heel check. No, the three I'm of us God. gather around and all heel check. <laughs> I, I just want to go grab the cup of coffee and like just hold it near the sprite 15. and see if the aroma oh, wakes uh-huh. it up. I like that. I That's got good. an 18 okay. on That's my heel check. Than me. I have 15. We all look at the doctor. Did you what, heal what check? Get for you? No, I, I examined him. I got, I got crap when I examined him, so I go grab the coffee. <laughs> Highest was 18? Yeah. 24. No, it's no. Like freaking team. Freaking I rolled, God. I rolled I'm sitting here and I'm like, damn it. So you, you get it. Yeah, he's he's down by like three points oh. from consciousness. Well, you want me to go ahead and poke him with the wand? Yeah, you prob- think? Prob- prob- probably. I'm okay with it. Okay, well, yeah. I need someone to hold the lid. So as no. soon as I'm done poking, you can put it right back on. Oh, who, who's, who's I, got I, like the best reflexes? I've got the... I, that would be me. Okay, we yeah. should we should let I, I, Daldine. I will let Daldine. Yeah. 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 I, I will I will stand here and I take my deck of cards out and I'm ready for any. No more ear slicing, okay? Just you... Look! Can you imagine if she gets the other one? What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What? It was accidental. And, and I don't know if it damaged his inner ear. I think he'd still probably be able to hear a little bit. No, oh, fine. Well, he's got another ear, too. So. No, she's saying if we get if we knock off the other oh, ear, if oh, she accidentally well, cuts off the other okay, ear. I, I, I unscrew the lid of the jar. <laughs> Here I go. You ready? Tilt okay. it up. I'm going to open it. Oh, no. Let me try again. Poke, poke. Nope, that's not it either. I, nope. Oh, oh God, God. Come on. <laughs> It's, yeah, oh, yeah. there we go. Okay. A full half minute later. <laughs> and I close the lid really quick as soon as <laughs> and you roll. six, I healed him for six. <sighs> oh, fuck. Hello. Hi. How you doing? I'm in a jar. Well, well, yeah. We, we wanted you to be able to see, but not, you know, fly away. We're hey. going to we're gonna go on an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. What's your name, little one? My name is Vrix. Vrix? Vrix. Ooh. I see we're back on the, oh, you're going to tell us everything you know and take us wherever you want to go, and then we're going to kill you, track. Oh, look, oh no, gosh, no. Kill you. Oh, I feel clarify, Vrix. I, did, I said if you show us where the portal is, then we will let you go through the portal. I I said we would kill you if you did not show us the portal. Eh? So we're just trying to put things to right clarify, and back together. A little. All right, all also, right. you said long live 
the Winter Queen, right? Yeah. You said it in your sleep a lot, too. Are you particularly loyal to Ilvana, or...? I think I think Ilvana's got some really good stuff going on for her, you know. Yeah. I don't want her to leave. I, th- I think she should stick around. I don't know. I feel like that's a little bit disrespectful to Baba Yaga. So that's just me, um, someone who is terrified of Baba Yaga. So Baba Yaga is, you know, strong and stuff. But <laughs> come on. Well, Wait. how about you come with us and we go to the. The hut ch- with the chicken, chicken hut. legs that's in the forest, what? Right? The what? Yeah, Mar just finished packing up ghosts. Yeah, all we of our are stuffs. going to go to check go. out a hut with chicken legs that is in the forest. We're going to go talk to Bob, Baba Yag. Yeah. No! You, no, you don't want to do that! Would you rather we go straight to the portal? Uh, yeah, um, I mean, it's not a bad idea. You could. Okay, let us go to the camp and... See what we see. Okay. But. So we file outside and close the door. And as we close the door, I, I say goodbye to the cabin. Bye, cabin. Thank you for keeping us warm. All right. <sighs> goodbye, Norm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Oh, no, gosh, no. Oh. See you next summer, winter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Let's get on the move. And we right. hit the road. Hit cool. the road. You Jack. guys start. Uh. Walking to oh, yeah. the west, mm-hmm. following the the path, yes. right? Yeah, well, yes. that I mean, Joseph said to. Cool. So a little bit west of the cabin, literally like twenty feet, you come to oh, God. a bridge. <laughs> we didn't get perception. very far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dead. perception check. Do it. Please. We'll die right outside the cabin. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend nice. I didn't try. That was embarrassing. Nineteen. 26 for Valdine. That mar- margin goes to our, our, our must be preoccupied. I feel like you got better than I did. I got 10. I got 6. Oh, okay. so. It's a good thing I'm here. And Ghost got 8. <laughs> 26. Oh, Jesus Christ. Valdine. <laughs> Hi, friend. Hi there. Uh, so you guys come up to the bridge, and it is a very icy and slick bridge. And now standing here, being this close... That sound you heard last night, the whistling and the roaring. Standing this close, you can you can hear it now, clear as day. And now that you can see, too, you see that it is a, a steep canyon with a bunch of roaring water, and the wind is whistling through it, and you can see it whipping the bridge a little bit. Ah, this is the sound I heard last night. This uh, wind dripping through here is coming through pretty fierce. This bridge does not look... Very safe to cross. Oh yeah, I um. Hmm. Should, Should we uh, use rope and like do one at a time and 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 hold ropes to make sure it doesn't break or something? You know. Well, but the water the water's frozen underneath. I assume. No. Oh. Could I check out the integrity of the bridge, please? Yes. What would I need to do? To Engineering. Engineering. I have that. Hey. hey. Nice. Ooh. I really need more knowledges. <laughs> oh, yes, I rolled a 19. Nice. It's a 23 on my engineering check. Nice. The bridge is stable. It is covered in ice and is probably very slick, but it okay. is stable. Does it have All guardrails? Right. Yes, it has two rope rails going across it. It's a rope bridge with wooden planks. The bridge does look pretty stable. Does, but it, does it look strong enough to hold Marigold? I think we should go one at a time, as suggested already, but I think we should... Use a rope of some kind, at least to tie somebody off in case they do slip. Oh, it looks very it. slick. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. okay. Right. Well, if you want, I, mean, I can I can try and get Marigold across first, and then if we make it across, you know it's going to be okay. That is true. You will be... I mean, she is a good girl. You will be very careful with her, though. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Oh, you'll be Marigold. safe, Norm. So since I'm the lightest one and she's the heaviest one, I'll try Marigold, and... Norm is going to take you across the bridge. Uh-huh. Uh... Please do not tug on the reins. He is very small. Okay, okay. Vasilisa probably overestimates Marigold's intelligence. Hands the reins over to Norm. Ah, we will play follow the norm. I love you, my best friend. What are we tying off to? This on works this out side? great, actually, because Norm probably actually has handle animal and Vasilisa doesn't. So, <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try and just just see if. I have it. Oh, God. Much heavier. A nine. So very slowly, very cautiously, with Marigold trying to 
Tip, what tip, did you get? To, uh, handle. Nine handle. Yeah, so she she starts to go with you across the bridge. And about halfway, it swings a little bit. <laughs> and you hear her. <laughs> oh, it's, and she it's okay. starts to get a bit restless. I need you to give me another one, Oh, please. gosh. Roll better than that. No, really, it's going to be okay. I promise Vasilisa will be right behind us as soon as we 14. <laughs> She doesn't budge. So we're standing there she's, rocking. She's rocking more now. Uh, um, I need you to make me a reflex. Oh, please. son of a snowflake. Biscuit. Use a snowflake. <laughs> Do we? He's, um, yeah, he's no, got a you snowflake. know what? I'm, I'm not going to use a snowflake. I'm going to use semi charmed life. Ooh, cool. Ooh. Baby. It's probably not baby. even what it's called. No, it's just called charmed life. You've got me doing that. Now. <laughs> you know what? It's 12 plus. 13 is 25 reflex. Beautiful. Yeah, you don't. You are rocking and rolling with the bridge. Uh, give me another handle animal check. What is, what's everybody else is doing? Is anyone, yeah, does Vasilisa like, oh, try and aid? I mean, Vasilisa has no handle animal, oh, but right. she is going to be I'm, yelling I will, anyway. She'll, she'll, I'm going to aid. Mary Gold Veals, she is a stillborn donkey. She will stand there forever. Okay. Could you maybe help? Um, oh, yeah. Let, let me uh, see what I can do. And uh, I'm going to just grab the rope and hand over hand walk towards holding onto the rope. Okay. Marigold. Cool. And then I'm going to you know, pat her on the rear and then climb up onto her. And then I'm going to um, see if I can get her to move. Just kind of give her a little kick and, okay, come on, Marigold. Okay. Roll a ride check, please. And Norm, I need you to roll another handle animal. <laughs> that was a bad roll. <laughs> I love the cocky laugh, and you're like, fuck. Natural 20, 24. Okay. 11. <laughs> I mean, but a ride, ride checks aren't that if hard, If you though, were they? aiding, it would have aided, you know? Yeah, and I'll count it as that. You guys are able to push Mary oh, Gold across. Oh. Patting her on the neck. It's I okay. I promise it's, it's going to okay. be okay. <laughs> we can make it. We can make it. We can do it together. Inner monologue of Mary Gold. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> All right. Valdine, do you want to, to go or should I go next? Go ahead and go across. Let's oh, make sure everyone okay. gets across safely. I, I will see you on the other side. Vasilisa yep. just kind of trails a hand on the rope like a guardrail and goes across the bridge. Bridge snaps. <laughs> no. <laughs> Turns out Vasilisa was an 800-pound squid monster. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't oh, know. And we've come full circle. All right, yeah. Uh, uh, everyone's across except Valdine. And then I will untie the rope. From we'll hold on to the rope from over here, Valdine. And I head across carefully. Okay. Carefully. Moving carefully. Hmm. Careful-like. Take your time. You do it. With care. No slipping. No slipping, no sliding. Cool. You guys did it. You made it across <sighs> the ravine. <Woo> <laughs> Maybe ready? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Yes. I will follow you. All right. And you guys start walking and walking and mm -hmm. walking. Mm -hmm. So within the first hour, not a whole lot is happening. It's mm -hmm. still really quiet. Um, you're going through the wood. And as the hour ticks on and on, you can tell it's getting closer and closer to sunrise because you start to hear little Tweety birds oh. in the trees. And then it starts to get more and more light. How's everyone doing? How has your morning been? So good. It's, it was a little bit, you know, iffy with that whole bridge situation, but you know, I think I think we handled it and we're in good spirits and ready to keep moving. I'd be happy just to find Joseph's camp. Oh yeah, uh, I, right. I wonder about okay. how far uh, do you think it is? We, we were looking at the map earlier. It yeah? was about an hour, a little over an hour from the the lodge, I think, too. He said it was four, four miles. Four. Hour, oh, because we're doing a, a, a mile an hour. A mile an hour. Snow. Speaking of which, cold Hard checks. G. Oh, okay. DC 15, Valdine. I'm still rolling. Please hold. Okay. I got 20. And you got? I got a 22. Hey. Or a 20 as well. How are you? I feel great. Good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a refreshing thing to hear you say. <laughs> it's so much nicer. 16. Okay. Ooh. You all pass. Yay. It took you a long time to You guys start to. I don't remember to... my numbers at all. <laughs> climb the ridge after this first hour. The sun is now fully out, uh, and you all march along. Um, and at this point, you guys hear a... Ah. 
Turn. What you doing there? It's so gross in here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, we didn't quite think about that when well, we put you in there. Why did you guys give me that shitty coffee? Ugh. Oh, that was Valine. I thought it was a bad it idea. It was great for like two minutes and then... It... Oh, God. Have you? Why am I covered in shit? <laughs> I, you guys think this is funny? Look, I oh, am dear. sorry, but you are a little two-inch tall sprite that's a little bit of a hassle. And so, yes, I laughed. I'm sorry. Okay. Look, I thought it was we could too. dip you in the snow, maybe. That would be wonderful. Okay. 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 How about we uh, do this? And Vasilisa takes the jar, unscrews it, and then, like, in one motion, takes the lid away and just shoves the jar onto the ground onto the, snow. the ground face down <laughs> yeah <coughs> kind of swirls All it right. around in the snow <laughs> <laughs> that works that works hold on you can you like clean up a little bit it does like, a little Argh. snow bath well it's got to be cold you're okay with the cold though huh? it's so good well i do you think he's from the cold yeah yeah. And all right, I, all right. Scoop me back up. I leave a little bit of snow in the bottom of it. And just scoop it back up and put the lid back. Oh, on. you could make like a sculpture or something. Yeah, I'm gonna make a chair. Ooh. All right. All there. Right. Is that better? Much better. Thank okay. you. Okay. Where are we going? To the uh, board. We're going up this ridge. Yeah. Take a look around. You see anything? That would lead us toward the. Portal? Does it look familiar at all? Yeah, I kind of know where we are. Okay. So are we going the right way? Uh. I think so. Okay. Up, up seems good. If we like get to the top, I can look around better. Well, we are okay. going on a ridge, so Let's... it is okay. Or if you let me out of the jar, I can just fly up and... I'm kidding. You guys won't do that. <laughs> yes, that is correct. We're not that good of friends. Some not might not yet, even call so us it's... friends. Some might call us, you know, captor, hostage. <gasps> so that's what know. I'm calling it. Okay, that's fair. Okay, let's keep going. So you guys have another... Three miles to go, which is another three hours. Mm -hmm. You know how you're on like car rides and stuff? Yeah. You guys have been on a road trip mm -hmm. all yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yep. you're on the second leg of a road trip today. Yeah. I think Vasilisa is going to kind of regale people with the 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 equivalent of Baba Yaga fairy tales okay. from her childhood. I like that. Like cool. we I I was always told if I was really, really bad, then Baba Yaga would come and carry me away and absorb all of my magical skills into herself so that she would become even more powerful. So that's what happens to bad witches. And also there was a time that someone tricked Baba Yaga, like, uh, you know, managed to actually defeat her by being really tricky. And I just tell them, you know, stories. But are, telling all these stories, are you aren't you worried? Like you said something before about she can hear her name, or like just that's talking another about her? story I have heard. Baba well, no, Yaga but... sees you when you are sleeping, and she knows when you are awake, and she knows if you are bad or good. So be good for goodness' sake. That is what my mother that's, always said. That sounds terrifying. Yes. If, well, always having Why this she that figure watch you all the time. She, yeah. But so just telling us all these stories now, though, you don't you don't work because like, you know, they say speak of the devil and he's in the details and just talking about Baba Yaga. Is it going to like draw attention to us? I mean, I feel like that ship has gone to the sky, you know? Oh, gotcha. Like it's a little too late for that. Yes. That's, that's yes. fair. We have been. It's like a witch that has flown, you know, it's hard to put the broom back in the cupboard. Am I right? Or the ear back on the sprite. Yes, exactly. Once you slice off an ear, it is just gone. I've heard of them growing back from certain certain like breeds and species can grow things back. Yeah, Maybe we keep Maybe a, a long enough like ear or eye. Oh, sorry. A long enough yeah. eye on the ear of the sprite and then ooh, we see what happens. Another hour passes. Hike, hike, hike. DC 16. Right. Cold check. Cold check. Coldness. Yeah. Ooh, I got a nat 20 on that one. Nice. Auto success. Marge, you seem unhappy. Yeah. Uh, I'm cold. <laughs> oh, I'm super cold. Oh, no. Valdine. 17. 
Yeah, you got, are just scraping 14. by every time. <laughs> Marge, are you okay? Oh, it's just so cold outside. Here, hand, hand me your wand. Oh, here you Six go. Six points non-lethal. Whew. Jeez. I, I take the, the wand from, from Marge <clears throat> and I just tap her with it because I can automatically successfully use it. Oh, nice. It's only four points because of your northern ancestry, right? Yeah. Max healing, though. Max she healing. I, I, I'm just real good at this today. So Oops. I hand your wand back afterwards. Oh, I feel yeah, so much better. Thank you. Oh, oh thank you. Another charge off that one. Yep. Yeah, I know. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Jeez. So Vasilisa is regaling everybody about uh, her heritage. Uh, I imagine in four hours you can almost give them your entire life story. <laughs> How's Valdine doing with all of this talking? He's a very quiet man, and I'm not sure he's used to constant talking. Yeah, he's really trying to just keep an eye on the surroundings, and so he it, it is distracting, and he's... Like, he's slightly irritated more by the talking than he is by the cold at this yeah, point. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he's he's kind of grown to I imagine like you'd stay a little group. ahead of us. I'm a little ahead of the group. I've also kind of, I'm, a, I'm like smirking every now and then. It's something that kind of sounds familiar to him from his own experiences. Mm-hmm. So Another hour. DC 17. Um, another roll. Yeah. Cold, cold. Roll better this time. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, no. I rolled a one. Great. Yeah, that's an auto fail right there. I got an 18. You're lucky, Marge. I rolled a two. <laughs> oh, I took no damage. You take no damage, and Ooh. because of the way it's written, you. Nothing. Have I'm not. Hypo- you have to take damage to get hypothermia. Yeah. 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 Even if Balding, I auto fail? 26. Huh. Norm. Cool. Yeah, oh, you're fine. I'm great. Yeah, you're great. That's the yeah, so good. Three of us yeah. now. 18. Roll cool. Yeah, you guys are good. So. We're, we're approaching the camp up ahead. We're, we're about a little less than an hour away. There was a... He warned us of some kind of creature out here that attacked. We oh, need yeah. to... Oh, right, right. The big we weasel. We need to move cautiously and be aware of our surroundings as we head forward. Okay. Ghost, okay. ghost keep your oh, nose open. Oh, yeah. I was going to say ghost should be up in front with you because uh, she right. can be... She, I mean, she, I would feel like she'd know the scent of her own kind. Sounds good. Cool. And we head on forward. Head on forward, nice and quiet. Are you in? It looks like looks like a little Ghost bit? and I are just maybe maybe five feet ahead of the group. Okay, five that's to not, ten feet, not, not too, too much. Are you, yeah. are you trying to be particularly stealthy? Ghost can be. Yeah, Ghost, Ghost and I are both being stealthy. We'll even, be, we'll even be with her armor. Out. We'll be ten feet out then. Yeah, from the group. Okay, cool. Give and me some stealth checks, stealthy. please. Fourteen for Ghost. Valdine is a twenty-six stealthy. Ghost is kind of like. Has to like flop like along, hop. yeah, <laughs> because the snow's snow so yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Um, and Valdine, you're you're pretty quiet. And as you guys approach the top of the ridge, you see the camp up ahead, Joseph's camp, and you see the trees change to mahogany, and it's really nice, and it's really serene, and you see uh, his tent now covered in a thick layer of snow. You see a uh, stump next to it with a uh, axe sitting in the top, and you see a pile of wood next to it that has been chopped, and you see in the cart a bunch of other wood that needs to be also chopped. And then you see poor Oxford lying in the snow, Mm -hmm. and above him is... A not so small weasel. A large weasel. Standing over him in his chest cavity, gnawing down. Oh, God. Oh. As you come up, the weasel looks up and you see blood mud across its face, frozen in little tiny blood ice patches around its muzzle. Mm. And it goes. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you next episode. Oh, no. well, I'm gonna roll initiative. I'm gonna roll initiative. Oh, yeah. Press start. No, no, don't do it. Fire all six of my shots. Oh, that's too lame. We have to kill a weasel. Oh yeah, that's all. Just a bad weasel. What if it's just? But, but what if it's just starving? It's just trying to survive. It's just misunderstood. <laughs> it almost <laughs> killed Yosef. I mean, come on. Yosef, you thought Yosef was a tasty snack. I can't judge the weasel. Whoa. You can't judge the weasel for thinking the same thing. Touche. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
The feeling of a poorly rolled die is universal. Whether it be the tried and true six-sided die of a board game, or the iconic 20-sided die of role-playing games everywhere, you know the feeling when the dice roll ones. Just imagine the cathartic release of throwing it across the room into a conveniently already running blender. Well, have I got a podcast for you! Our very good friends over at Dice Shame embody all of the joy of rolling high with all of the vindication of their title. Roll to one, throw it in the shame jar. Roll to 20, remind that die what will happen if it fails you. Dice Shame is an amazing podcast of Dungeons & Dragons Storm King's Thunder campaign. You can join Dungeon Master Joe Fallick and her wonderful players, Harlan Guthrie as... Red, the Tabaxi Ranger! Alex Guthrie as Doran Iron Fist, middle-aged blacksmith dwarf! Rob Diebold as Jack Page, the half-elf wizard from Waterdeep, and Justin James as... Kraloff, the Grave Cleric Human. You can join them every week for a brand new episode of an extraordinarily compelling campaign with beautiful characters and some of the best storytelling I have ever witnessed in the TTRPG arena. Check them out at DiceShamePodcast.com or literally anywhere else you get podcasts. I can promise you if you are listening to us on whatever service you are, you can find them there. These guys are absolutely amazing. As an extra special treat, I know things have kind of been falling apart in the world lately, but they are trying to do something about it. You can join us all this Saturday, that is March 28th, online for a completely free tabletop gaming convention. I myself is going to be running a game of Pathfinder, and you can go and sign up, and I can GM you through a fun little homebrew I made. There's plenty of other games going on. Go online, sign up now. You can find all the info at Dice Shame Podcast. Thank you for listening. Go check them out.